We just got a great question from Claire about the holidays and dealing with your family and drawing boundaries. Okay, you ready? Listen up, because we could all use this particular advice. The holidays are here, Mel, and even though it's a time I should be feeling cheerful and festive, I'm full of anxiety over spending time with my toxic family. Every year it's the same thing. Inappropriate comments, questions that totally deplete me, and it makes me wonder if this is even my family. Can you please help? Sign Claire. Claire, you shouldn't feel alone because so many people have anxiety about toxic relationships related to their families and how they have to confront them during the holidays. So here's the thing I want you to think about when it comes to the holidays. Holidays can be one of two things when you have toxic relationships with your family. It can either be a personal challenge or it can be a chance to have a personal transformation. And the personal transformation that I'm talking about is not changing your mother or your annoying older brother or your racist aunt. I'm talking about whether or not you have a personal transformation because you can't fully get rid of toxic situations or toxic people, but you can transform how you behave when you're around those kinds of people. So the holidays can be a chance for you to practice boundaries, practice self-control, to be emotionally resilient and strong and not get triggered, and to also have the courage to express the new you, to express your true self. So if you left uh, home a long time ago, you've grown as a person, you've changed, you've evolved, and then every time you go back home, you feel like you've stepped into a time warp and you're suddenly eight years old again, this is a chance to transform yourself so that when you walk in the door, you are who you are now, not who you used to be when you still lived at home. And so there's a couple things that I want you to think about before you go home, before you have the interaction, so that you are prepared emotionally to make this a transformation for yourself personally. Number one, don't assume the old role that you used to play. So just because you're in your childhood home or you're with people that you know from your childhood, do not make the mistake of falling back into old patterns. Don't suddenly start acting like the youngest one again, if you're the youngest in your family. If you're always been dad's favorite and everybody hates that, Stop playing into it. So there are things that we do that we don't even realize when we step into our childhood homes or around the people that we grew up with where we slip right back into old patterns. Make sure you know what those are so that you have them in check for yourself. Number two, this is a huge one. Don't take the bait. This was advice that I got from my brother a long time ago. Don't take the bait. You know that there are relatives and friends from your past that just love to cast the guilt. They just love to cause issues. They're constantly casting like a fisherman, all kinds of things out there. And if you're the kind of person like I used to be, when somebody gets upset, you grab the bait and then you start trying to make it okay. And the next thing you know, you're arguing with somebody over something really stupid. Just don't take it. Don't let yourself get triggered. If somebody's cast in the guilt, let them cast. Don't hit that lure, you know what I'm saying? They're welcome to say whatever they want to say. If you don't react, there's no issue. You don't have to worry about making sure that your mom or your dad doesn't say that stuff. Just don't react to it. And you'll be shocked at how the dynamic changes. You know, this is another piece of advice that my uh, friend Danielle gave me today. And it comes from the Calm app. You can also, before you go into the situation, visualize a really busy road. Now. In a very busy road, there are people that are passengers in those cars, and there are people that are pedestrians on the sidewalk who are watching the cars go by. I want you to think about the dynamic in your family as cars zipping down the highway, right? Everybody's got all kinds of issues and conversations and kids and this and that, and people want attention, and there's all kinds of things racing by. And your role when you're around your family is to be a pedestrian on the sidewalk, watching it all go by. This is another form of not taking the bait. The last thing you want to do when your mom pulls the guilt train up is to climb on board and be a passenger on that ride, okay? You know what I'm saying? You're going to stay on the sidewalk. You're not going to take the bait. You're just going to watch the traffic as it speeds and whips by. Don't climb in when the guilt car pulls up, okay? Next thing. This has also been a major thing for me. Empathy. Empathy is a superpower. My relationship with my mom changed dramatically for the better when I stopped judging her and I started thinking about what she must be feeling. Seriously, like if you've got somebody in your life that's angry, that says hurtful things, that's disappointed or upset, all of those things, anger, pain, disappointment, 
it's all just a mask for hurt. So any kind of toxic behavior that you're seeing in other people, unless it's some sort of narcissism personality disorder, for most normal human beings, if they're exhibiting bad behavior, it's literally just unexpressed hurt. That's all that it is. And a healthy dose of empathy, like thinking about how hard it was in the household where your parents grew up, or thinking about all the struggles that maybe one of your siblings who's really annoying because they take up all the energy, how many struggles they've faced, or thinking about how lonely your aunt is because your uncles died. Thinking from a point of view that's empathetic, it's amazing. It's very personally transforming because it helps you set boundaries. It helps you not get triggered. It helps you to be more emotionally mature and resilient, and it will help you make these holidays an opportunity for personal transformation instead of a massive personal challenge. I really, really hope that that helps you have a much happier holiday season.